Hello and welcome back to another episode of Banishers Ghost of New Eden. My name is Saika and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty. It is time uh, to find Antia. Antia? Please tell me you're here. And uh, to find a way to New Eden. There you are. Ready to go? I just got here. Can we talk? Why did you leave me alone? You were not alone. Can we go now? Well, I think she had enough, so it's time for some void traveling. How come it's not working? Let's ask Seeker. This all has to end, and I'd rather it was sooner than later. I am doing my best, my love. Hmm. That's wrong. There's a big point of interest there. Which I may find out in a in a bit. I know there is still that web that conceals it. There's a spectral web here, but it's new. It's stronger, but I think I can do it. Well, oh, you can see there. This'll only take a moment. See? Ah, well, throwing my weapons through your will is a little unsettling. The spell isn't working. I think she's gone. The incarnate is hidden away here. Stains bar the path. No time to lose. Who oh, there? Well, I pray this letter finds you healthy and well. I confess, I even should give me assurance that I can't. I may as well doubt them. I'm no fool, my girl. I know something is amiss with you. I know your father is concerned. Uh, father. Uh, it be for me to interfere with your fam uh, familiar relations. Uh, it is important for a young woman about uh, to find her way about the world and, uh, and help beyond the confines of her family. In close with the letter, you uh, shall find a key and a map. You'll find the place. I've marked it clear. Do not uh, forget. You're not alone. I'm on your side. You can also count on Catherine Newsmith. She's a trusted friend and uh, would help you if you organized and asked. Why is there a letter from Deborah Comenius here? And who's Grace? No way back to New Eden Town, and no Seeker either. Our only clue points to Kate Newsmith. Maybe she knows this Grace, and where to find her. Hmm. These stains block the way through, like a thick web. After you, dear. Gonna get enough of my backside, can you? Okay, so where do we need to go? Is the question. A couple of spectral webs, which we need to go all the way out, and then at the entrance. That'll be interesting. Where is. Where is Deborah? Where is she? Newsmith, Newsmith, oh. Okay, well, that's pretty far away.
We fill the fusion uh, gauge, uh, press control, and then simultaneously in a. Okay. Well, I'm going to find Shall out. we dance then? Aye. Always. Okay, now there's also a spectral uh, spectral rage. Which is interesting. I think I used to coat my wolf kills on one hand. If the spirit chases were working, we wouldn't have spectres. I'd stay to figure it out, but we need to see Kate. All right, interesting developments, but before we're moving on here. I think that this here will lead us to another place of interest. These stains block the way through, like a thick web. Still no ghostly spectral spiders hiding away in there. That's a void breach, all right. Should we jump in? Uh, we can definitely jump in, and I'll do that in a second. Um, might be coming out anywhere. There's another likely void breach. Look at that. We. Um, have so many more ghost haunts. We could theoretically level her up quite a bit. Question is, do we want to do that? I mean, I would be interested in some of the stories, to be entirely honest. Uh, is quite a bit here. Hmm. Difficult decision. Let's do the void uh, jump first. Uh, I'll do that uh, quickly off camera and then we're uh, progressing Kate uh, news miss first and make a decision whether or not we want to hear some more ghost stories be right back all right we're done with the void rift made my way all the way to here and reflected whether or not uh, I want to continue the ghost stories here and whilst I think it is a neat little endeavor with the ghost stories I also think that uh, mm, that might drag out uh, the whole playthrough quite a bit so i am wondering if it would simply be more adequate to upgrade our weapon which i have done now so the wandering is over uh we do need sc uh, three scorch accretion here and three nest silks nest silks we could uh, get if you're running into it but generally speaking the equipment is quote unquote good enough for now um, that is not bad I mean there is a lot uh, there are a lot of really really good uh, items uh, skills here but we would need essence uh, and I can already see uh, there is one two three four five six seven more essence nodes the question is do I want to do seven more uh, ghost stories and the honest answer is i potentially rather not um, not that i don't like the game but uh, i'm not 100 percent sure if it is needed even on the hardest difficulty i'm getting the hang of it so i'd rather level up a little bit and we're fast traveling to the area that we need to go and are following the main storyline. Backed by the Banishers, Helen Priest dethroned Captain Pennington.
dark truths were unearthed. Some secrets remain buried. The survivors must now set aside old sins and build themselves lives worth living. But can Helen Priest lead them into the future, chained as she is to her past? Good question. It was not a great uh, choice that we had. It was that or uh, an even worse captain. So if there would have been a random soldier without any problems in the past, I would have potentially chosen them over Helen. I get the feeling folk are preparing to leave. Where are you? Where have you gone? All right, Kate. What news from the woods? Is anyone alive? No news yet on that front. Then I'll ask you to keep looking. I'm trying to track someone down, and I was hoping you could help me. I doubt I'll be much use, but I'll help you if I can. So, I found your name in an old letter. It was addressed to someone by the name of Grace. It was written by Deborah Comenius. You're tenacious. I'll give you that. But must you push so? Deborah wrote of a cabin in the woods. Could this Grace person have found it? I don't know. It was all a very long time ago. I had forgotten her. Did Grace ask you for help? No. Grace Pennington vanished. No one ever saw her again. Grace Pennington? As in Captain Saul Pennington? Pennington had a daughter, and you knew her. I knew her, but not well. Deborah had her in the school and spoke of her from time to time. Shy as a porcupine and twice as prickly, as I recall. Deborah wrote the letter in February 1688. When did Grace disappear? Months later, Pennington accused Deborah of being a witch. In my recollection, that moment overshadows all others. Could Grace have survived alone out here in the woods? Possibly. But could she remain unseen? No. All thought she'd left New Eden. Gone west, perhaps into the wilds. Does the name Seeker mean anything to you? It sounds less a name than a calling, but neither mean anything to me. We done. One more question. Did the school teacher keep a cabin in the woods? Deborah spent much time walking the woods, trying to understand New Eden, she said. Now that you mention it, I remember a snowstorm. She spent three days in a hut not far from here, southeast. Across the drawbridge, along the path towards the mine. If it's still there. Goodbye to you for now, Kate. Alright, find the cabin in the woods. And where would that be? And why can't we go to near Eden yet? It would be down here. And there's yet another ghost story here. Game. Leave me alone with Just the our zones. luck that when we need Seeker the most, she disappears. I still don't understand why the ritual failed. Let's just find the hut. All right, time for us uh, to progress the storyline a little bit further. I'm not sure, hundred percent sure where Seeker has gone. It's interesting though, a bit unrealistic, but nonetheless interesting. Every single one of uh, these NPCs has a story. Like every single one. I have not yet seen a single NPC uh, that at some point didn't become haunted or had a problem. Die, you bastard! Getting serious.
Reinforcements! Alright, let's test our new abilities. Right. That's next? a lot of damage. Symbols. The hut may be near. Yeah, my point sense, uh, there are just a lot, a lot of uh, NPCs that I do, sense magic. Could Seeker be here? That do have a background story, like too many. If you ask me, it's un statistically unlikely that everybody gets haunted. Down. All right, one of you guys are down. The only resources that we really need at this point are scorch accretions and nests. Are you kidding me? It's interesting, by the way, how uh, how the enemies start becoming more and more strong. It doesn't really make sense. Where were the level nice twenty six enemies when we were uh, being in that area the last time, right? But yeah, that's the Skyrim phenomenon. Uh, not my favorite way of designing games. Maybe I'm a bit old school in that re in that regard. I like like pre-leveled uh, areas. Gives you a better look and feel for kind of power levels. Good. Find Helen. And the cabin in the woods. If that isn't the cabin, then it might be somewhere else. Afraid to take a wee punch, are you? Good problem. Right. This can't be a coincidence. Could Grace be Seeker? That could be the case. I thought about that option Dusty. as well. Dusty. Seeker hasn't been here for a long time. Anyone home? Right there. Fall from grace. That's not funny. And neither is this. Aye. Fair enough. Greatness, shadow found in only in magic, but there's a world beyond. Darkness envelop me, protect my illusion from the light. I'm almost successful ritual of dissimulation is not complete enough, but I must be able to perfect my own way. Not surprising, uh, coming from a demonology book, uh, they always have been far too narrow-minded. More demonology. Well, that is... Unusual for a witch. These two schools of magic don't usually see eye to eye. Perhaps Lamy could help us with the spell. Now we know. 
She's in the mountains. There's a ritual of dissimulation, and we need the catalyst. The circle powers the door, but I don't know the symbol. I don't know it, but I think Lamy might. We did well to come here. Now we know where she's hiding. Soon we'll be able to use the pond. All we need is the key to the dissimulation spell. And Lamy Haskell will help us with that. Ah, sure. Alright, off we go to Lamy. If Sika is a demonologist, maybe she's behind all of the nightmare summoning. Maybe that's a side effect of her spell. Which would be absolutely crazy if you think about it. Would be a rotten way. Sheep be the end boss. But it would also be bad storytelling because now they set up Deborah uh, to be wronged so many times by so many people. And you can understand how that could. Whatever it is, out with it. Now oh, what I say is worth listening to. Only when it doesn't slow us down. You're in an awful hurry. We need to get this right. We cannot afford to fail. We won't fail if you stop dragging your feet. Okay, where do we need to go to begin with? Uh, this is all fine and good here. Uh, there's a side objective, that's okay, but not sure if that is our main objective. There we go. Love finds a way. We gotta go to Harrow. Okay. So we're revisiting a few of the towns. Good, let's get there. And I think I bought good nails in the north, so, uh, so that could help solving a problem here with the uh, rather poor nails that the non blacksmith is doing. And I like the general idea that there's a follow up on many of the quests, but I. I'm, I can't shake the feeling that that's a bit of filler content, if you know what I mean. It's not naturally coming as a consequence of it. It's more, you know, you can still revisit the NPCs after a while and then there is a little tie, but no real good reward. So the game has a bit of a challenge with that. Good day, T. I found you some nails. Good. I would say thank you kindly, but I don't want to, so I won't. Actually, I will say one last thing. You claim to blame people without question or thought to whose life you're taking. But that, sir, is no way to honor the living. We deserve better. She deserved better. I hope your conscience eats you up at night. Well, <laughs> no surprise that he still doesn't like us. And I'm not even sure, other than closing that loop, what we have gotten out of it. We spent 500 gold, I think, or 100 gold uh, to get the nails. And nothing has uh, really come from it. But okay, that's a different story. The game also has a bit of a problem with uh, loot and uh, progression. I like the idea that you do have many outfits and many different ways of building your character. That's no cool. governor, no meeting house. And it seems, no faith. We need to make a mess and think about... Think about... The end of this speech. My friends, it's been so long. I was starting to think you'd forgotten me. 
No, we've been busy. And what have you been doing all this time, friend Haskell? Ah, I've been writing a speech, a discourse constructed to elevate our sadly sunken spirits. Unfortunately, I am struggling to finish it. Lemmy, come on. How very Lemmy Haskell of you. I need an ending, a high note on which to finish. I was thinking of talking about you. Would you permit it? People don't always trust banishers. Perhaps speak of courage, the spark of fire in their souls. This comes to you so easily. We are always so eloquent. Well, I've led men to war. And fearful men need words of courage. Well put. I shall take it as inspiration as I return to my writing. With the added spice of your profound wisdom, I have faith that this speech will bring much succor to the company. Oh, what remains of it? We found a page ripped from a book. Here, do you recognize it? Let me see. Is this from the Trismegistus riddles? <laughs> yes, it seems to be. Why would you bring me one mildew page from an amusing but harmless little book? Why would you fail to disclose that you'd given another ritual to another friend? It was a long time ago. I said after Caleb I'd distribute no more rituals, and that's what I've done. Uh, not done. We know. But we're looking for Grace Pennington now, and we were hoping you'd help us find her. Who? Really, boy? Oh, I'm sorry, Mistress Antea. You said Grace's name, and it is my reflex to protect her. Ever heard of someone named Seeker? Seeker? No. Sounds like a title, like my true pursuer. The Seeker. Is she Grace? Is she alive? Do you know where she is? We think she's Grace. We hope she's still alive. We're trying to find her. We think she's hidden herself away behind your dissimulation spell. Uh, then you'll need to unravel it. Shouldn't be too difficult once you're armed with the salient facts. When was the last time you saw Grace Pennington? It had to be a few days after I brought her the cloaking ritual. When I returned to visit, the hut had disappeared. Which makes sense now that I think of it. That's it? You never again tried to find your best friend. Your only friend. Well, you see, some weeks later the first whispers of witchcraft started to fly about town. I kept my head down, and Grace was better off out of it. I was right. And I'm glad she escaped. Strange to think of her again after so long. How does the ritual work? It creates illusions so effective that they deceive even the keenest eye. There are more effective cloaking spells, but the Trismegistus riddles do have a simple elegance. The short version, please. Ending with how we break it. Yes, yes, of course. To achieve that, all you need is the caster's full name and the symbol used to make fast the illusion. Grace Pennington and a triangle pointing downwards. Well then, now all you need is a simple counterspell from the same book and... Oh, my... What now? I'm afraid I left my copy in the Araloo. In the void. That's just great. Just great. Mm -hmm. Yes, but in my defense, once you've retrieved the book, dispelling Grace's illusion will be like a walk in the park, comparatively speaking. Wonderful. Thank you for your help. Could you tell Grace that I'm still her friend? I'd be glad to see her again. Once we found her, we'll be glad to tell her.
All right, enter the void and find the book. Where would we do that? Are we talking any void? No. We're talking that specific void. Okay. Come on then. Talk to me. I'll hold back. You act as though all is well. As though I had not died. I'm dead. And I'm not alright. I'm not alright at all. But you pretend not to see it. Oh, come on. That makes me angry. And it makes me sad. I never wanted that. I know. But it still felt that way. It doesn't really fit to a hard, uh, well situated uh, character to always complain about it. I do understand that you're unhappy with being dead. Like, there is no denying that, but. Here's People the point. camped here, but not for long. They must have headed for the beach. Let's go. Enter the void and find the book. Uh, that must be underground, right? Yeah, the, the void entrance definitely was underground. The incarnate is hidden away here. Stains bar the path. Not really. Onwards. Not anymore. I maimed the corrupted heart. You aim at its roots. Before we do any of that, uh, where do we need to go? Oh, down there. Okay, cool. I wonder, there's only one route. And this can hardly be it. Can't go down there. All right. I know there is a shrine down here as well that we haven't gotten. So that might be an interesting task to get as well. All right, void traveling it is. Let's go, baby. Okay, shine. 
Look, I couldn't talk about it. Couldn't talk about what? You accused me of pretending not to see that you're dead. That's how I feel, Red. You have to accept it. I just... I couldn't face your death. I admit that. Your death left me desolate. I knew in my heart that it should have been me. Then you came back. I snatched at the chance to undo what had been done. I don't wish to deny your pain. No. I've just tried to deal with mine. Wow. That's... I hadn't thought of it that way. Thank you for your honesty. Good. Let's move on. Let's get back up. There we go, let's party. Ask for help if you need it. Okay, cool. Our new abilities are really strong. book isn't here. Our book might be up there. I might need some help. I might be able to give it. When she says up there, what are we talking about? Jumpy jumpy? Oh yeah, we're talking about exactly that. The spot can't be far. Well, this looks like Lamy's stuff. Only more scattered. Even with the void shifting, the book should be around here somewhere. Just made sure it's a riddle, uh, similar means, blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. Got it. That seemed a little too easy. We have the symbol we need. Let's go back to the mountain and find her hiding place. First things first, Red. Hoarding harvest. Did you go, you wee bastard? I can help. It moves like a shot. Get 
Back up. Move, Red. I am. All right, he's changing ever so slightly into I'm physical right here, you know. and magical form. Bending the rules, are we? Thing have. Good. Scorch creation that is fantastic. We need more of uh, them. I would love to reg more regularly That's fight these almost guys. it. like to fight these guys a little bit more frequently because we're still failing to acquire a scorch creation good where are we and what are we doing? Close to Seeker's hiding place, uh, which is where I'm going to go next. Uh, I think this is a perfect cliffhanger for the end of this episode. We are going to find the Seeker in the next episode. And for then, I thank you very much for joining me today. And uh, if you want to check whether or not the like button is clickable or has already vanished into the void just look down at the video and uh, see for yourself thanks a lot have a good one and see you soon bye bye